right, so we got the dual radiators mounted up in the car, and I gotta tell you, I'm liking it. It adds to the uniqueness of the car. So, it's mounted up for the most part. I had to cut a coupler into four sections, use two on each side, so it's two of these thick uh, on the bottom with a bolt going through it, and that is securing it to the bottom. I could not use these E46 transmission mounts I was previously using because of the clearance that was taken away by adding another radiator I couldn't get the leverage to get it over the stud so that was not going to work so use the coupler that's insulating it now on the bottom and I have a bolt just threaded through the mount radiator hoses are connected back up thermal coupler is connected back up as well and we're good to go for the most part now I did create another issue by running this setup is I'm I need to relocate this oil filter into a better position now because where it was at was interfering with this radiator so I'm gonna have to take the the air ducting off to free all that space up so that I can make another bracket so that can clear and then after that we just got to put the intercooler piping and whatnot back together then we can put some coolant in this thing and start it up Alright guys, so I have to make a new bracket for the oil filter adapter and basically it's just a 90 degree bend. I drilled out the holes for it to mount straight to the adapter and with it mounted in this position, I only had to use one so I could pivot the bracket where I needed it to be most optimal for the clearance on the radiator. So we're good there. Plenty of uh, clearance here, no problem. As you can see, well, it's just a little bit of an air gap, but it's still enough. And basically, uh, the intake is going to come up through the top, and I'm going to figure out a different routing for that. But I'm going to leave the uh, air ducting off whenever I first start the car because I just want to ensure that there's no leaks along the bottom of the radiators. Now, it was static tested for leaks, and there was no leaks, but I don't know how it's going to be under pressure, so I need this area visible for me to uh, inspect things while it's running so all right let's move on to the intake get that knocked out and then we'll add some coolant to this bad boy and start her up all right so we got version 2 intake done and i ended up going through my parts bin and i found a air filter that works for this so that saved me some time right there and for this i had to get a little crafty i had to put it in the vise and uh, kind of bend it in and also take away some metal right here on this bracket piece right here. So I had to trim that back to get room and I got it to fit nice and neat in there. Now I'm out of two and a half inch hose clamps so I need to run down to the parts store and grab a couple of those. But just for the time being, I got a zip tie on that and it's on there nice and snug on this coupler. So just for now, I'm gonna run it the way it is. And it is touching the radiator a little bit right there. So I put thermal tape on it so we'll have to see how that holds up. But she's ready for coolant now. Let's go ahead, add the coolant, crank her over, and then let's see if everything's gonna work out with no leaks. turned on everything seems to be working great no leaks so now I'm gonna go ahead and just let it cool down on its own then in the meanwhile I'll put on that air ducting and finish buttoning this car back up
see. Right. Get the glare out of this damn thing. Uh, I'll let you see. It's right in the middle. Right in the middle. Hasn't moved. Right there, in the middle. I don't know. I'm trying to get it where the... There it is. Right in the middle. Good to go, guys. Good to go. the registration it passed so we're good to go on that guys I'm on my way to the DMV to go ahead and get my plates finally and she is gonna be 100% legal and legit to go and the coolant system is holding up great can't be happier such a fun car to drive around I gotta tell you I got the t-tops out so I'm enjoying the, the wind good stuff riding around in the Z31 Turbo. Beautiful day, guys. I can't be happier right now. Look at that temperature. Holding steady right in the middle. Oh, gotta slow it down for this bump. Got that low life. There we go. Guys, I'm stoked. I finally got my registration and my plates, so I'm 100% legal. I'm gonna slap these on the car and we'll be driving this thing all throughout the weekend. Filming a little bit of it for future episodes, maybe for this episode, depends on when I edit, but you know, I'm totally over the moon right now because this thing does not overheat. I can drive it, enjoy it. Uh, also uh, fine-tune the uh, fuel trim a little bit more with the uh, apex unit and uh, Yeah, couldn't be happier so Alright guys, so this is version 1 of our go at trying to uh, put radiators together. These two radiators are both from a Volkswagen Sirocco. This one's an OEM direct replacement. This one's a slightly modified one. It has tabs and a relief cut and it is a two row. So I have these two. This is the one that was initially in the car. I had this one for another project and I just, you know, just eyeballing it, talked to the welder and everybody and it looked like we could make it work. So then what we did was we made, we combined the end tanks together. Now this one's slightly off, so we had to get a little creative on the seam right there, but seemed like everything was going great. And then once you put it under pressure, it has a pinhole leak in the uh, center right there. So we actually took the end tank off again and tried to weld that area back up. And we, we couldn't get rid of the leak no matter what. So at that point, I asked Mario, hey, if I get two of the same exact radiators, will it be easier? And he was like, yes. And we went, I went ahead and ordered two of the same modified uh, Sirocco radiators. And then when we were looking at it, we got to talking. And since these are like, you know, the same radiators, you know, he actually uh, came up with the idea of drilling out the holes and combining the two like that, making them in parallel. And at that point, it's like, yeah, it's, you know, that sounds like a really good idea. Go for it. And uh, he was able to knock that out relatively quick, as opposed to this one took quite a while because, as you can tell, it took a lot of fab work. He was able to knock that out. We made it work. And the results 
are good. Now, I do need to close up these uh, air gaps around the radiator. I do know that, guys, and uh, I will do that. Uh, gonna come up with something, maybe just use some thermal tape for now and uh, see how well that works out with that. And uh, from here, I'm gonna drive and enjoy the car. I'm gonna probably uh, make like uh, some cinematic videos or something with the cars I have. If you guys are down with seeing something like that, uh, voice it in the comments below. And uh, I'd like to put something out like that just to be a little bit, change it up a little bit, I guess. And uh, yeah, but that's all I got on this episode, guys. I will le uh, leave a link in the description below on uh, the radiator if you want to find that for yourself and attempt to do that for yourself feel free i do not care uh, that's why i like sharing this with you guys uh, you know took quite a bit of fab work and redesigning the whole front nose of this to uh, get it to where i have it where i have you know all the piping feeding on the side of the radiator and it's nice and routed so you know i'm pretty happy with the way it all came out with the air ducting and everything as well so I'm definitely, I definitely have become quite attached to the car over the time it's been. And all you guys who've been following the build, y'all know how many episodes of this I got out. I, I believe I got about 30 of them out. And, uh, you know, it's from the day I bought it. So full build series on this if you guys want to check it out if you're here for the first time. But I'm all done. Definitely give me a like for this episode so that all the Z31 community out there can find this episode and uh, share it so on that like comment subscribe and share definitely see you guys on the next episode